I have not turned the mic on. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, and welcome to the show. <laughs> we started with a false thing, haven't we? We start with a bit of a nasty thing. We've started something bad. We started something wrong. And I have done something wrong to start the show. So what have I done? I've done, well, first of all, there's nothing on the screen. <laughs> I have done this wrong. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ratio was wrong and the broadcast is now starting now. So we will just uh, just get rid of this first. We don't need this on. This, 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 and that's it. Now we're ready to start Rock Show Live. So, Chew day. What's chew day? Chew, chew day? Chew day. <laughs> Tuesday today. Thank you. Okay. Let me start the show again. We deny the song. We deny the song. You stream. Tune into the best rock and metal show. Rock show live on you stream. With requests from the 60s, the 70s and the 80s. Rock out and rock on to the best sounds around, including the new best in music and metal. Rock on the Rock Show Live metal. with day nights from 6 to 10. Metal, 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 metal. I sound I'm German for some reason. The best place to rock out every night. With requests from the 60s, the 70s and the 80s. Including today's new music, metal and rock. Keep it tuned in, crank up the volume and rock out. Metal, metal, metal. The Rock Show Live on... I sound like I'm going metal, 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 metal or something like that. There's some weird for some reason. Come on to Rock Show Live, I choose nice. No, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Jesus, it's going wrong already. <laughs> Silly thing. Metal, 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 metal. Metal, metal. I keep saying that for some reason. Hey, it's Night Rock Show Live. It's uh, Kirby Turns back with Metal Week uh, number two. And uh, thanks so much to everybody watching on YouTube for a good, good response. So let's start off tonight's show with. Well, what should we start off with tonight? Let's start with who we lose in the news. Yeah, and the status quo track that I want to rock out so much. This is going to be called Some More Lies Are True. Well, Jack the Blackheart, I uh, hate myself for loving you. And also, we had was uh, Honey Drippers, I Get a Thrill. And we had Who Is in the News to start of tonight's show with the best status quo. Uh, Some More Lies Are True. Welcome to Tuesday night on Rock Show Live. Welcome to Tuesday's show. Um, well, this week, yesterday was a uh, great show yesterday. We had a great show yesterday. Uh, Yvonne was funny as hell. I was so enjoying myself today. Be very tired today because I've uh, been very busy uh, this morning. Um, I was at um, I was at a radio station today. I was. I was down um, at Spark FM today, and I was not just there to. Uh, no, I wasn't there to to uh, to go and do something. I I was there to I was there to do something today. And I tell you what, it was really nice for them to give me a chance to go on not on the radio, but it was a spot out there to do something. And it's a, it's basically a community station, and they're at the Sunland Community Station that's down at St. Peter's Campus. And it's a really good station. It's not um, any of the music we hear on this radio station, on this station of Rockstar Live. But they play um, local bands from Sunderland who've got recording contracts, and they play their music on, the, on their radio show. And I was very impressed with what they do down there. You know, they, the schedule's fantastic. It's all live. It's not recorded. It's just the same. And um, and I thought, you know, why don't we stream a little bit of that next week on the show, just to get a flavour from their side. You know, it's a it's very uh, orientated station. It's a very good station actually. No, nothing to say. Well, we'll be leaving Magic Live for two. Because, uh, well, actually today, um, Magic Live for uh, website went down today. It's uh, been doing some uh, technical little glitches and things and stuff as well. 
for us. It's not been too bad, it's been nice and warm, nice and cool today. It was hot today downstairs, but when I got the fan on today now, it feels much better today. It doesn't feel as blowing in my face a lot, it feels it's more like around inside, you know, sort of thing. So it's, it's, it's much better. It's better now for some reason. Alright, I've uh, got an announcement to make. Um, I've got a little announcement to make. Okay, well first of all, let's talk about yesterday's pop quiz. Oh my god, Alan is 79 points in the lead on pop quiz. Do we think he's going to get 100? Do we think we should get 100? I want to see if he gets 100. Yeah. And I've realised the pop quiz is getting a bit longer <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but pop quiz is going to change um, uh, next week, next Monday, um, two weeks, um, I'm on for two weeks that week. We're going to change pop quiz a little bit different next week. It won't be single people. We will have a competition. We will have a team match next week. So there'll be teams next week on this. So I think teams will work better. You know, we'll have one question from somebody else and one question from somebody else. And I think teams will work. So I think that might be a new thing we're going to start doing. So that's going to be next Monday. And just let you also know, my mum's due back tomorrow. And she's going away on Sunday. And I've got two weeks of bliss again. How cool is that? Great stuff. All right, so, let you, so this is what we're going to do tonight on the show. We're going to do a round of pop quiz tonight. And then we're going to do a round of pop quiz tomorrow. We will not be doing pop quiz on Thursday or Friday. We're going to leave pop quiz till next Monday. That's what we want to do. So you're going to get helping of pop quiz tonight and a pop quiz tomorrow night. And tonight the questions have changed, the verse tracks have changed, everything's changed on the show. But next week we're going to do teams next week. So if you are a team who wants to be on pop quiz and want to try their best to pop quiz, get yourself on the show. And we want to know, we want to know, can you beat Alan? I'll Alan score next week. 79 points he's got already. He is in the lead. He's going to make that 100. I think he'll make 100. So, yeah. It's going to work out so cool as well. So, you want to join Pop Quiz tonight? I'll give you all the information later on the show. If you want to get in touch with the show tonight, you can give me um, give me a text or give me a ring or give me an email at supertez at live.co.uk. That name, that name does exist. Now, you may have been uh, um, wondering, the first week I started Rock Show Live that was not recorded, I didn't mention the pay-per-view that we're going to do. Now, we're doing pay-per-view events very soon. Um, now, the week, the second week, in, the kids are off school for, for six weeks holidays. And Box Show Live is going to do a pay-per-view event. We are going to do a night where Box Show Live is different. Box Show Live is changing. Box Show Live will be something that we've never done in Box Show Live ever. Now this is going to happen next, the, not next week, but the week after. Okay, I don't know what date it's going to be yet, but we are going to show something very exciting on Rock Show Live, and we are very proud to have it. And we're very happy we got it. I will not say anything else about it, but it's something special on Rock Show Live. Special pay per view event we're going to have, and that pay per view event also includes a special edition of Rock Show Live that we've never done before. You know, it's not going to be like, um, it's going to be a different show altogether. It's going to be a different show altogether. So a pay-per-view event is going to start the two weeks after. So if you want a night where you want to see something really exciting on Rock Show Live on that night, you will be amazed. It will get recorded. If you can't view the, vi the pay-per-view live night, don't worry about it. But as I understand, we we will have to sort payments out because there is going to be payments going to be sorted out for that night only. And uh, what you'll be able to invest is you'll get a ticket. When you get the tickets, you put the code in the machine, and you get Rock Show Live all night. And it's a special event we're going to do. And if you're interested in special events, more information will come next week on the show. It's a one-off event, but next week, no, but next week, not next week, but the week after. We Rock Show Live goes even better and much better. That's to come later. That's to come soon. I will tell you more information about it later in the show. New Graham, and that is a uh, good old uh, jukebox hero from the Definitive Foreigner album, which I have on. Uh, it's actually the two CD, the two CDs that I have. 
which is brilliant. Brilliant. Apparently, the second disc has got some solo stuff and some bonus stuff in it as well, which is really weird. But I looked at it on on um, on the on the on the disco site, and I thought it was a one CD set. No, it's a two CD set. But it's not the right cover art actually on there for a start. It's a really Rhino Records one. It's uh, it's cool. Good album. Good album indeed. And uh, Lou Graham is uh, well. He's still there. He's still going. He's still going strong. He wish he's cotton socks. He's going really well indeed for his name. For what he has, he does good stuff, good music, good productions, and such a rocking guy. Rocking, rocking guy indeed. Which is so cool. Let's see, put that in there. I don't want to show you that. Uh, <laughs> put that thing. If you want to get in pop, um, pop quiz tonight, we're going to do it at half past seven tonight. If you want to get on the qualifying question, I'm going to and get it out later in the show. And uh, will Alan return back to do his hundred score? Well, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. We will see. But we do move on the pop quiz. If you want to have a go on pop quiz, but it doesn't, but by the way, it doesn't, it's not Alan all the, night, all, all the time, by the way, but it's nice to have somebody else on, on the quiz. If you want to be on the quiz, by the way, it's easy to do. I'll give you the information later in the show. Now, I want to be learning to the world of news today and uh, reading in about this new, uh, this new thing that happened on Magic. And then um, Mana Foster, crazy woman of the world, right? It's uh, on Magic 1152. Um, either my ears were blocked or my ears were not right, but I heard her say that she wanted to start her own rock choir. Magic rock choir. Right. So, I'm on, so this morning I get up and my exams are all nice and tidied up and all done today. I did it. Um, but tomorrow we'll, put, tomorrow we'll go and uh, print it off. Uh, but, no, that's not the point. Uh, the point is... Um, Anna Foster in the morning was, it was fucking hilarious. It was heavy. It was funny. It was funny. <laughs> I'll put it this way. It was funny. It was funny. I, um, I, I, I can't tell you, but let me tell you. you. When you ring Anna Foster on your, more on your mobile phone, Anna Foster is, without a doubt, so energetic on the phone she goes hello magic hello magic and she says what you got for me so i'm on the phone i'm going to it what do you mean what have i got for you it's like oh what you got for you got a suggestion for the show it's like um oh no i just said i want to be part of the of the magic uh, rock choir thing i says oh did you? i says oh thank you for calling bye and she's like oh, no, 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 magic. Bye. and seriously the woman either has got a a a, a she she either she's either got um, a, a breath mint or something on a seat that makes it go like this, Yay! and um, and even now and even now she's getting into the claws of um, of the um, what was it? Um, oh, what the hell was it this morning? Oh yeah, it was the claws of uh, the producer on the show. Yeah, what was going on there, Anna Foster? Eh? A bit of singing this morning on the show. Hmm. With that nice da 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 And then the guy's going da 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 So the producer's sitting there just thinking oh it's singing Ah it's great this is yeah it's fine. So anyway, I What was going on this morning on Magic? I don't know, but it went stupid. Magic is going a little bit crazy. Anna Foster is going all yay, you know, right? Okay. So this is Anna Foster sitting on the sitting on the chair, right? Anna Foster sitting on the chair, right? Jump, 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 everybody, and jump up and down, yay! It's super spit, wee. Okay. So we're all jumping up and down like Anna Foster would anyway, and she's all like yay, you know, all excitable and uh, happy and joyful and jump, jump, jump all the way down. So, are we supposed to be exercising with her in the morning? So, it's like, it just makes me laugh. <laughs> so, anyway, I was meant to say to her, did you enjoy the meerkat? But I didn't, get a chance, I didn't even get a chance to speak to her this morning. So, anyway, I will have my revenge. Anna Foster's, she's brilliant. She's just fantastic on the show. But she, she just goes too, she just... She's just all, yeah, she's all excitable and uh, oh my god, what, what is going on? Is she got, is she on a, is she got, um, uh, has she been on the old, uh, the old Lambrini in the morning? Do, what does she have a toe? Does she have a bit of the old, um, 
melon inside her toast, or does she have a little lemon inside her little thing? What is going on? It's like, be energetic, let's go, let's, it's just like, let's go, let's go, everybody, let's go down to the gym, let's go and try this now, and let's go and see what we can do. Let's try something we want to try again inside our little lives. Let's go and run down the old time tunnel, yes. Let's go run to the time bridge and go, yay, 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 yay. Seriously, Anna, calm down, it's just a bloody radio station. And... And there's no, and you know what else is right? Anyone else, right? When I was when I was up there before, it's all this like, oh, I've got to make sure I got in. Oh, wait, 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 time, time. Oh, the time's all I'm going to go with the time. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I think I've just done something wrong. Oh, are we not going to make it? We're not going to make it. Anna Foster's crazy. No, Anna Foster, she's great, uh, but she's just story. She's just all this sort of like this crazy stuff going. on. I was like, what's going on? Seems we're getting a little bit paranoid now, are we? It's like we're on romantic! It's just... It's, it's nuts. <laughs> so, what was going on there? Don't know. But magic seems to be going a little bit putty for some reason. <laughs> no, I can't say anything bad about it, but my Anna Foster's good. She does a great job. She's a great job indeed. But that's the thing of it. Right, now, this week in the news, uh, also, I'm on a massive new album. I played it this week. Uh, we're going to play one track this week of the show. Uh, I'm playing, I'm telling you, we're going to play a little bit more of that track album tonight on uh, Rock Show Live, which is so cool. It is hot now. I think it's hot in here for some reason. It's really hot in this room. The windows are open. Well, half open. But with well, the bees and the flies and the wasps and things as well. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of in the mood of what you need. Anyway, let's move on now to an amazing track from Euphoria and the Human Clay. This is the best drumming ever from good old brilliant guy. His name is Jamie Borger and this is going to be Euphoria. And uh, that's a song you really want to try and get on the old download as well for that stuff. Right, back after the break. Rock Show Live, the best place to rock up your nights. Weekday nights on Ustream. Tune into the best rock and metal show. Rock Show Live on Ustream. With requests from the 60s, the 70s and the 80s. Rock out and rock on to the best sounds around, including the new best in music and metal. Rock on the Rock Show Live with day nights from 6 till 10, live on Ustream. Rock Show Live, the best place to rock out every night, with requests from the 60s, the 70s and the 80s. Including today's new music, metal and rock. Keep it tuned in, crank up the volume and rock out. With Rock Show Live on Ustream. Rock Show Live. The best place to rock out every night with requests from the 60s, the 70s and the 80s. Including today's new music, metal and rock. Metal, metal, metal. Keep it tuned in, <laughs> crank up the volume and rock out. Metal, 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 metal. Rock show live. It's like a kettle, but a metal. I sound like a German for some reason. I don't know why I do, but it sounds like it. <laughs> It's going up to 22 uh, 7 on this uh, Tuesday night. Alright, we're going to carry on now with the rest of the music with our Phantom of the Opera from Iron Maiden. Uh, welcome back to the news. Uh, the news. <laughs> the news was already on. Let's talk about the news. <laughs> You know, I do this program live and everything goes wrong for some reason now, I don't know why. Hey, we'll get back to Rock Show Live, I was going to say. <laughs> the news. Oh yeah, oh, we're up for the news now, do I? Yeah. Is that, is that right? Do I work for the news now? <laughs> that was funny. We did that song. <laughs> to the best rock and metal show. Rock Show Live on Ustream. This is the news. <laughs> With requests from the 60s, the 70s and the 80s. Rock out and rock on to the best sounds around, including the new best in music and metal. Metal, metal! Rock on the Rock Show Live, metal. day nights from 6 till 10, live on Ustream. Oh, what have I just done? Oh, what have I just done right now? I've literally... <laughs> I've only 
I've literally just put in the Hailstorm album. <laughs> I wasn't going to put that in, actually. Oh, I know, I know. But we are going to play the, the rock show, the rock show song from Hailstorm. <laughs> we'll come in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> this is the rock show. Live. This is rock show live. And this is what we use for the title screen. Hellstorm. Here it is. Eric Clapton and After Midnight. Cool song. Cool song indeed. Cool song indeed. Lovely song. All right. In a minute, we've got the new track coming up from Alan Mass album, uh, which is uh, the brand new one from out already. Which is it's called. Uh, I don't know what it's called now? <laughs> it's on the screen. It's. Uh, I've got a track from Alan Mass album anyway. New new one. Um, yeah. Great. Great album actually. This one. Andy Sneap produced it. Um, Incredible Phil's fans and stuff as well. Did a great. I think this is probably, without a doubt, one of the most best albums I've ever done. D straight down. I mean, this, this track we played, the title track of it was fantastic. Now, now we're going to hear the uh, this, the four minute version of this song. I haven't heard it yet, so it's a, it's a first for me to play this one. But um, me, me, me being a metal fan and a huge Queen fan and just everything else has been great about this stuff. You know, the best thing about doing this show is when you research so much you want to do, and you research what you want to do about it. You know, you want to do something and then you want to get it out and say what you want to say, and, you know. Like, it's just great to do the show. It's a good show. Good show. So keep it going, guys. If you're interested in doing Rock Show Live, why not get yourselves over to uh, facebook.com slash rock show live, which is book hyphen show hyphen dash live. And it's uh, pages, just go there and just be tagged on Facebook, you know what I'm saying, anyway. And if you want to add me as a friend on Facebook, you can, no problem. It's just Tez, just type in Tez and I'm there, there you go. <laughs> anyway. I mean, actually, I've been trying to find out why you, on Facebook you can't change your name. Why can't you not change your name to a single person? You ought to have, is it Tez or is it, is it just T-E on N Z or something, you know? And so, I mean, it's a bit weird, but it won't work for me. Just seems very, very complicated for me for some reason. It's, uh, Facebook for me is not the best in the world to use. Okay, I mean yes, we have the we have the Facebook page, Rock Show Live on on the Facebook, which we use. But I, I, I keep saying we. Why is there saying we for? It's me doing the show. It's only me. Anyway, I have Facebook on this page, and then I've got um, the stream happening on UStream on the main stream and stuff. But UStream's stream is on Rock Show Live page. So when you, lick, when you click the live link, it goes you straight to the Rock Show Live page. It goes directly to the Rock Show Live um, uh, Facebook page. But you've got to like the page, and then you've got to add me as a friend. Because then you have to get on the, the, the main thing of it. For the uh, other side of it, for the Ustream side of it, uh, the chapters are not, not available on Ustream. That's why. Uh, we're trying to keep Ustream's chat room off. Um, because it's just easy this way to have one conversation on Facebook then having a conversation on the other page of Facebook. We used to put it on the screen before, but found it when you couldn't even see it. It was too small, it was like, it was like it's too tiny, you can't see any text of it. So we stopped doing that on there. On there. We didn't want to break you know, Facebook's laws or anything you know, or something, but you know, they don't, they, I, I, I don't know what, what's going on, you know, anyway. Right, if we don't have any for pop quiz tonight, we will leave pop quiz until tomorrow, and that's when we've got one more day to do pop quiz. And next thing, pop quiz is back the week after as well, because on Monday, it's teams next week, Teams on uh, Rock Show Live, it's going to be so cool, so we'll get inside that. And another thing I want to bring up also, while, while I'm on about chatting side of it and stuff. Have you ever had that feeling that, have you ever had a funny feeling that when, when things don't go right for the night and things go wrong for some days? Yeah. Well, today I was in the garden today, again, again. Same time in the garden today. Oh, then thorns are bad. So I was in the garden. I thought, you know what I'm going to do? Get them thorns sorted out. So I had a pile of leaves on the bottom ground, and I got the weed killer out. I weed killed everything. I went, right, well, spray the weed killer and kill it all off. Get it all killed. So I thought, oh, no, I don't want. I don't want to see any more M thorns. And no prickly things and no more little things. Well, you know what? I've got like a like a, like a scratch here. I've got here, and I had a scratch somewhere else on my arm. There, that's from yesterday as well. That red thing there, that's from yesterday. That's very bad. So, yeah, it just tells you exactly that, yeah, it seems that I'm getting pricked a lot on, scratched a lot on here. You know, like someone's got, you know, cat scratches and things. Them thorns are bad out there, though. We've got a thorn tree, and the thorn tree is very bad indeed. So, I'm trying very hard to cut it down, but it keeps, <laughs> keeps on failing for me for some reason. Don't know why, but it fails. It fails for me. 
it fails. There is going to be a new YouTube video up this week, by the way, on Ustream, uh, Ustream, YouTube. Um, the Q&A session video has been done. I didn't upload it today because there was no, uh, I didn't have any time to upload it today. I don't know what was going on. My internet was acting super today. It was funny buggers. I think it's the cable. Cable's broken again. Never mind. Wait, I'll get a virgin look at it for some reason. Okay, we're ready now to have a listen to the second track of Alma Mass's new album. I want to hear this. This is called As Log Fails. Some great covers or a uh, song of, of things. And it's uh, Call Me Maybe. It's, uh, it's brilliant. <laughs> Just love it. <laughs> I actually have never ever heard the song before. And I'll truthfully say that I've never heard that song. But I only don't listen to shit like that. But when someone just metal it up, it's all good. Andy Redfield is the guy as well. And in fact, Andy Redfield, he has been saying that he has been removed off YouTube for his videos. And you know what? It's a bugger. It's the, it's the all it is. It's the videos that he uses. It's not the audio. It's the song. It's the videos he uses. But it's just shame. You know, I mean, I mean, to be honest with you, I've never heard any of the, some of the, some of the bands. I love it when he takes a piss out of some bands, like, uh, like, um, the one that they just like, um, the Sipknot one, he does, I work me and myself in me. It's, it's just bloody funny. <laughs> it's just funny as hell. It's like, I write the errors up in me. And he's, he sounds really, uh, really angry. I try, it's really cool. And it's like the stone me's. And it's so fantastic. He even did a version of uh, Eleanor Rigby, which is brilliant. And Is This Love from the Stoner Rock on that one, which is, uh, which sounds, which sounds, to me, it's one of the best versions he's ever done in his, in his whole career, the Stoner Rock. Screech that guitar. Yeah. And that tells you he's a true metal fan as well. Just like you want to get, you just want to go one, two, and three, and four. So cool. It's good to use. It's good that you use the original track, the original vocals and that, which is so amazing on it. And uh, his work is just unbelievable. Andy Redfield is a, a top guy, a top guy for metal. He's a huge metal fan, and he is just really into stuff. From uh, from the it did a great it was a good version of um, uh, back in black was great uh, the version of uh, set to fail was uh, thingy. all the seas of damage this 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 is this is one of the most funniest versions I've ever heard this <laughs> Roll. we're going very happy now for some reason. It's very Elvis Costello, you can tell. Yeah, it's just all we need on the seas. <laughs> oh power, all oh seeing, hard it being all the seas. <laughs> He's just brilliant. He really is a great, 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 great guy. Andy, Andy Rayfield's fantastic. In fact, his best work has to be uh, Dancing Queen. I love that version of Dancing Queen. You didn't know who the hell sang on vault was that, but I bloody love it. Right, moving on from that anyway, um, and we'll play some more Andy Rayfield overseas. Uh, moving on now to uh, one of the most amazing albums ever come out from Metallica. The new album is coming out very soon. I think Rick Rubin's coming back again. Mm. And this is going to be called Helen Back. This is from the EP of Beyond Magnetic. Metallica fans. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I have to say that without any doubt, the, the, the producer who did that album, it, I think it's just been incredible. I mean, he knows what to do. Oh, he knows his stuff. You know what? He actually... Is praised for what he does, and I also have to say that he is top notch. Top notch. You know, when he since he did the Black Out, the Black Sabbath album. I mean, Jesus. I mean, God. I mean, literally, I I could have I could just say that his work is just incredible, and his earphones are coming. But they that is just a tff, the man is just brilliant. He knows the magic magician and stuff as well. He's magic at 
best ever rocking stuff in the world. He's cool. Rick Rubin is one of our favourite guys. He's fucking great. Great guy indeed. Great guy indeed. Right, okay. Rock, uh, rock. I don't keep rock choir for some reason. It's because of magic. And yes, and uh, it's out of us again. Yes. And, um, God. Magic rock choir. Yes, it's gonna go now. We should start a magic choir, people! Yes, we should! Yay! I will have. I am seriously thinking Rana Foster's lost the plot. <laughs> I think she has. She's like, yay! She's like, yay! Oh, coffee time! Ooh, yes! Yay! And just down like Yes! Yes! Aye. Would you like to win tickets to go to the, uh, to the show of um, Box for Life? Yes, I'll end. I'll give some on now! Yay! God, she is re really, honestly, she's absolutely, she's great, she's fun. She says, yay, comedic ways of Anna Foster, how it works in the world, yes, yes. It's, it, it seems she's, um, yeah, too hyperactive. It's too hyperactive. Well, I'll say this for one, one reason, it works well just for the channel. <laughs> Could figure that one out. <laughs> I just had a thought as well. He won't say it. I won't say it on the show. <laughs> if you think what I'm thinking, yeah. It's all like, hey! It's all like, Anna Foster, yay! Anyway, while we're coming on that from now, I'll let Anna Foster do this bit now. <laughs> oh! Yeah, I'm here! Hello! Hi, everybody! Welcome to Magic Limited 2! Yay! Yeah, man. And then you think, oh my god, it's just going to go over worse to worse. Kind of is. Anyway, we're going on that from, from John 5 now. This is called Regular Jungle on Magic Limited 2. Just good songs. Darling, I love it. <laughs> of uh, John Stockland, and I love the way she does her, um, <laughs> she uses her technique of using two hands on the microphone when she's singing and stuff. It's not actually, like, out. It's actually in, so it gives a good performance. I actually have to say, that best performance on that CD, the Ball and Chain live version, unbelievable. When she just tells about, hey, you want to make it out, babe? You want to go down to the shop? Go somewhere you want to go? <laughs> bang on the microphone. She walks off stage. That is just brilliant. She's seriously awesome version ever done. Right, Alan's going to the shop now, so Alan's sorted out now, he's got to do his bit of things and stuff. Um, I had uh, Diane as well, hi Diane, and she says, um, uh, my day's mixed up. Uh, she says, I decided I wasn't going to army tonight. Oh, there's no, uh, you can see yourself, right, no, uh, there's no something there tonight, uh, well, never mind. Right, just want to repeat a few things uh, tonight on the show. Uh, first of all, uh, if you are interested, Interested tonight, uh, well, as I say, pay-per-view events are going to start uh, next, uh, when is it starting that pay-per-view thing? Hang on a minute, what date is it? The 30th of July. 30th of July is Tuesday. Uh, so, yeah, so Tuesday, 30th of July, will be when we're starting, uh, we'll be starting the uh, pay-per-view event. Uh, it's going to be a special event, one night. Nice, of something that we're going to show on Rock Show Live. We will but, 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 but the but, bonus, a special edition of Rock Show Live. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> you'd be thinking that, well, how is it going to be special edition of Rock Show Live? It's just going to be different, that's all. And, from my point of view, it will be more better, and it will be very exciting. As uh, I won't say any more about it, but what I will say <coughs> is I will get a chance to get uh, to do something on Rock Show Live we're not going to do before. So it's a special event we're going to have on the 30th of, I'm going to write it down actually, so I'm going to write it down in my notes, you see. 30th July, 30th July is when we do Rock Show Live, and that's 30th July, we will be back, we are doing that special PPV event, it's going to be so cool. More information to tell you about that later next week on the show. Pop quiz is going to come up in about uh, at the top of the hour. We're going to start at 8 o'clock actually. Uh, pop quiz. So if you're interested in pop quiz tonight, we're going to do it in an hour. And uh, if you want to get on the show, why don't you give us a text and give us a ring. And uh, hey, phone lines are open now. So 6 till 10, phone lines are open all the time. Um, as I say, if you're watching this playback now, don't ring in now because <laughs> pop quiz.
quiz isn't on yet. So um, you're thinking, oh, I missed pop quiz again. Oh, I'm watching the I'm watching the repeat of it. Yeah, you're watching the repeat of yesterday's show. So there you are. Okay, um, but right now, but right now on this uh, special uh, rock show metal week we had. Oh God, this guy is just a legend. The guy is a legend. And you know, there comes a, there comes a time in everyone's life where you have a special record in your collection. You've got a vinyl in your collection that you haven't had on for ages. And you want to play something that's really amazing and heavy. The guitars are grinning, the bass is amazing on us. And this song is for le the legends of people who have passed on and legends of guitar players and bass players that have ever existed. And even better, vocals who shout across the across the universe is amazing. And we're talking obviously about Black Sabbath. But we're not playing Black Sabbath tonight. No. The first time I ever heard this song, I fell on my knees to this. I literally just went mad. I just stamped on the ground and I just thought, what a good song. What a good song. From somebody who we know, who is th the most amazing genius guy who on the planet has lived. Who I friended on Facebook. I want to know, how the hell was this done, this song? The song with its player is just incredible and without a doubt it, 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 from my point of view I mean come on I mean this songs we've had like fire we've had superficial roadblocks but time captives spirit of joy brains what the hell am I going to play tonight? I'm playing something that's incredible. I just, I seriously love this song so much, I could just play it to my little, I could play it to my nephew next week and he could, he could sit there and say, wow, this is great. And I said, look, you're going to be willing, I am. So this song is, and I'm positive, I'm positive. This is for Black Sabbath, I'm positive it is. Because the bass on this is unreal. What bass is he using on this track? We're talking obviously about Arthur Brown and Kingdom Come. And I have to say, this is just one of the most downright songs I've ever, ever loved on the show. And we're going to play it right now on the show, in full. Because this song, for me, is a special song that I wish to God. How or what is that bass he uses on that guitar? What is the bass part he uses? I can't even emulate that bass myself on the keyboard. It's difficult. But here it is anyway in full glory. Arthur Brown, Kingdom Come, come alive. Just incredible. Great song from Arthur Brown's Kingdom Come, and it's called Come Alive. And I tell you what, if Arthur Brown ever, ever, ever does an interview next time, I want to ask him about that album. I also want to ask him about um, the uh, the track um, Creep, because <laughs> the track goes, which goes up the speedy tape as well. And uh, oh, God, it would be nice. To, it would be great to see Arthur Brown on the show. Great game on the show. We've got to get him on Rock Show Live. We have to get him on. It's a great, great guest. Be cool. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 really good. He's got actual. He's it's just brilliant. And he's still to this day still touring and still got arms out as well. And he actually's got a new album out uh, on his own label. And uh, but it's very difficult, diff diff very difficult to find it. Um, but Arthur Brown is a, is the genius of the genius. He is awesome. I'll play something from his solo album coming up later, which is going to be, um, uh, what's it called? Chism in my bosom. 
Yankees in my bosom. <laughs> and for some reason, the CD release of Chisholm in my bosom does not contain the full version of it because it's cut to eight minutes. So why is that? It should be 22 minutes long, but it's not. Or 28 minutes. It's supposed to be 28 minutes long, that song. But, you know, quite long, isn't it? But it's live, it was a live track, actually. I don't know where it was uh, about. It was live, but it was uh, interesting. So the, I think that was her first hit on MCA Records before, Iraq, uh, before she left the Rack label. And it's uh, the second time from Kim Wilde. Good song. God, it's very dark. Very dark. Love the keyboards in that as well. Love the keyboard problem in that. Really good. Ricky Wild again. Ricky, oh Ricky. Produce it again. You're Ricky Wild. And yeah, she had a great career actually. She just loves rock music. She loves rock music so much. I'll tell you another thing I like, so like is uh, Pat Benatar. You can't get a Pat Benatar best of though. Best Shots is the best ever compilation you can ever get of hers. But I can't. Ne I can never ever get it. It's difficult to get. But we will try and rock show live. Don't worry, we will succeed. It was exceed. And uh, the song I actually like on the box set she brought out was some, some, sometimes the good guys finished first thing. It was from the uh, Michael Jake Fox movie, Secret of My Success, which in fact that, 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 that um, soundtrack um, is brilliant. David Foster produced it. And um, he's, it was it was good. It was good. I had a soundtrack actually. Some good songs on this. Good songs. Well, one Banana Rama song, which was written by Daryl Hall. And, uh, and yeah. It's a pretty good album that as well. Another um, another film I I love as well because I love movies. In the eighties, there was a film by Caitlin Adams who starred in uh, Jazz Singer, and she directed a film called um, Sticky Fingers. And you know what? I actually loved the film. I think it was great. Helen Slater and uh, Hel it was Helen Slater and what's her name? Oh, what's her bloody name? Helen Slater and. Uh, Oh, the other one. I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, uh, but Helen Slater is in that anyway. And this called Sticky Figures. It's about these two women who are um, who are living in an apartment, and uh, you know they, they, they can't really get along very well, and they're all getting they're all shouting and screaming and stuff. And so, um, and then there's this bag that comes into their house, and this woman drops the bag off, and they look inside it, and there's like a million dollars in the bag. And they're thinking, let's just go on a spending spree. So they spend, <laughs> so they spend all this money in the bag. Then the woman, uh, that apparently they then get in the charade thing happens as well, but, and things. And um, and so it, it's a crazy movie. In fact, it's a good movie actually. Ken Lam did a good job of it. It's shame it was a flop, but I tell you what, it's I think it's fun to watch that. It's really funny. Um, um, and I don't know who the hell released it. I think it was Shack Rock Films that released it. But it was it's a good it's a good little flick. It's sticky fingers, I recommend to watch that film. It's just fucking hilarious. I was just saying before about um, Arthur Brown. Arthur Brown is what the most gothic person that of Whitby ever lived. Ever great guy. He's still still this day making great music. And you know Um I wish that the band would get back together. I wish that Andy Dalby um, Andy Dolby did a great song um, on the uh, on the great album of Kingdom Come. I think Kingdom Come is one of the most funniest albums I've ever heard in my life. It's so funny. I mean, here's actually I tell you what. Let me play you. Let me tell you a track from it. Actually, this is a track from it, which is called um, the Teacher. This is an introduction to the album of it. Listen to this. This is funny. Good morning, children. I'm glad to see you here. You're growing older daily There's something you must hear Teach your children and I think you'll realize your elders are too wise to be opposed. I'm your teacher, children, and I know you will not mind being treated as the blind by someone like me who knows. A scholar, I suppose. Now I'm going to count to three, 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 three. and you'll be following me. I'll show you through a door you've never been through before, but you'll be there. Don't be afraid of me. I 
I'll show you what to do, you know it's nothing new, why should you care? Now we're going to repeat yesterday's lesson. After me, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to do a scientific experiment. I'm going to stimulate the brain of this traffic light. Crazy, crazy song. <laughs> but it goes into a great, a great mix of brilliant things in it. That's, that album is brilliant, really good stuff. I do recommend to get it. It's brilliant, fantastic. Okay, it's Magnum now from Kingdom of Magnus. This is a great album, Queen sort of sound on this. This is called uh, Universe. From Magnum, and it's called uh, Universe from their Kingdom of Magnus album. And it goes into uh, another song as well. <laughs> Kingdom of Madness. Yes, you see. <laughs> So welcome back to uh, Rock Show Live. It is uh, eight o'clock. Uh, oh damn! You know what we haven't done. I haven't done the news. <laughs> did I do the news before? Did I? I didn't do the news tonight. Oh no! Ooh, slap my hand. Oh dear! <laughs> I was I was in the mood of, of Arthur Brown and stuff, and it was like, oh no, we need the news. Damn it! <sighs> half past nine. Oh well, okay. We'll have to get we'll have to get it on the half past eight. I forgot all about that actually. <laughs> I forgot about it. I was, like, I was like, oh no! I was like, Jesus, the time's gone so quick today, I can't believe it. It's like, the, okay, we've got the news on half past, half past nine. Half past, half past nine. Half past nine! Um, the news will be on at um, nine o'clock, yeah, whatever. It was my mistake. Sorry! We have, we have to have the news on now for some reason. Well, no, 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 we have to. Get okay, whatever. Um, anyway. If we are ready for a pop quiz question, then we'll start it very soon. Um, it's now 8 o'clock. We're going to be always supposed to start you at 10 minutes ago, but obviously we've been talk, talking and talking so much. But it's been, <laughs> it's been a night of funniness, I suppose. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to play a bit more metal stuff now with Hailstorm, and this is going to be what you're expecting. And then after this, we'll have the quarterback question for pop quiz coming up. And will Alan return back for his, uh, get his 100 points? Well, we'll see, because it's last night. Last, I think it'll be this last night, and if he ever gets 100 points. Quiz is coming up soon, and uh, we're going to tell you all about it. Uh, all I'll tell you is that Alan has 79 points, and we're thinking, could he get the 100 points tonight? Funny feeling he could. He could get it tonight, and I think we could have a winner tonight on our hands. So, uh, if he comes up tonight for the last ever pop, for pop, last ever pop quiz, uh, for pop quiz tonight, he may win. Let's see if he gets 100 tonight on the show. He's having a. He just says to me, he's having he's having curry tonight. Nice one. Using onion rings. Using onion rings for earrings. I lost my pair. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's crazy. He's he's. <laughs> I'm kind. Of, I'm kind of gonna leave that comment now. We'll leave off for now. <laughs> <laughs> this is just too much. This is too much. <laughs> he literally, literally will, 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 will see. He, he will. We will. We will have a word with him about that actually uh, later on. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yes, seventy-nine points is the total that Alan has on pop quiz. Can you do good on pop quiz? Well, all you gotta do is uh, tune in on Monday because Monday it's back. But let's. Well, will he come back tonight for the last ever for pop quiz? Will he, will he get 100 points? Well, I'm hoping he can, but uh, questions have changed again. Uh, if you missed the announcement, by the way, earlier on the show, um, yes, we are doing, we're going to be doing uh, pay-per-view events next week on the show. 30th of July, our first ever pay-per-view event will go ahead. It was going ahead. Um, I can't tell you about the special event. I can't say about the special event, but I'll tell you what, it'll be well worth seeing. Special edition of uh, Rock Show Live as well, on that night as well, and it's going to be cool. I'm not going to say any more about it, but let me tell you, it will be fucking awesome. It'll be friggin' awesome, friggin' awesome. I shouldn't be swearing on here, actually. <laughs> we got kids watching. <laughs> it's like, I it's like, oh, what the hell, the kids don't watch it. Uh, but whatever. Okay, so yeah, we're going to qualifying call. Um, the qualifying question will come up after Elvis Costello and who gets the Jews and the rules and the rules and the rules and the rules and I can't speak my own words in the song I sing. 
God. It's uh, Elster So and New Amsterdam. Very short song, that, actually. All right, we've got the uh, 60 second. We've got the rule of the pop quiz coming up the now. The pop quiz. Oh, yes. Is that time again? I love this music so much, you know. I love this. I, could, I wish I could just play this all night. <laughs> 79 points, uh, Alan has in total on this pop quiz. This has been going so bloody awesome. And tonight, either he, he gets his last ever turn tonight, or we move on to somebody else tonight. Could you beat him tonight? Well, anyway, I'm going to give you away the call fan question right now. So, if you're on your blowers and on the phones, give me a ring right now. And I'll give you the question, I'll give you the call fan question right now. So, here it comes. When I find the bloody question, here we go. Okay. Right. And by the way, guys, this will be a question tonight. Okay. This is a question. Well, not tonight's question, but this is a qualifying question tonight. Who was guest? Who was on guest vocals on "Feels Like I'm in Love"? And I'm going to give you a point for the uh, the. I'll give you a point for the writer, and I'll give you a point for the singer as well. That's what I'm going to give you. I'll give you a point for it. But who was guest vocals on "Feels Like I'm in Love"? That's the question. If you're the answer right now, give me a good old buzz on the phone and uh, we will speak to you on the phone right now. Uh, it's uh, 07521 300 883. Give me a ring right now or give me a text. Uh, you, don't have to, you, don't have to, you don't have to ring in your answer, but text in your answer if you want to. And uh, it's going to end. So the question again is your question again, Eels, as I see it's going to be rude. Uh, who, was the guest, who was on guest vocals on Feels Like I'm in Love? A hit for Kelly Marie it was actually. And so what is the who was guest vocals on Feels Like I'm in Love? Give us your call and old blower on 075-213-0083 and good luck, it could be you. The Ultimate Pop Quiz! Well, you can just groove this track. Okay, so that's the question. You've got 10 minutes to get your questions in and we're going to watch Sky News very soon indeed. And we'll have all those things on anyway, but here's now Kiss and Ozone. Welcome back. Um, yeah, interesting use that. That article at the end saying about the baby was due this weekend. Mm. So that was interesting news. Uh, so uh, we will be finding out if that will ever happen. <laughs> this is one of me. It's a royal family is royal family, isn't it? You know, they, yeah, I'll, say, I'll say one thing, the royal family. The Queen is good for what she does. Country. The Queen country for the UK and for Australia. Mm. In a sort of way. Okay, we're going to go back to the question on a good old bling 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 bling. And I am trying to find the music that I want to hear. There we go. There we go indeed. There we go. Okay, the question I said before was uh, Who has gone guest vocals on Feels Like I'm in Love? I'll give you a, I'll give you a clue. Uh, it, was, it was by Kenny Marie. But who sings backing vocals on the track? Okay, so you can text in now with your answer or you can give us a phone call if you want to. Uh, 07521 And if you've got the answer correct, you can get into the prize to win a uh, to win a CD this week as well on the show. And if you want to reapply for Pop Quiz, no problem at all. You can enter as many times as you wish. Um, but let's have certain days. <laughs> it's good. But if anyone wants to come out on Pop Quiz tonight, give us a chance. And let's see if Alan, if Alan rings, he can win. He can get the 100 points tonight and he can win himself a CD. But let's see how he goes anyway. And we'll be back with Pop Quiz and everyone in the show. So stay tuned. All right. Well, he's back for the final ever time to do Pop Quiz. And it's going to be Alan. Not for the final time. Not for the final time. But uh, we've got a surprise, actually, for him. And we're going to ring him now. The Ultimate Pop Quiz! I'm just going to... Uh, hang on. Oh. And Alan is not here. <laughs> I've rang him, he's not here. <laughs> Hey, can we try it again? <laughs> the Ultimate Pop Quiz! <laughs> Every time this goes wrong. Hmm. 
Okay, um, well, we're trying to get a hold of Alan at the moment. I uh, can't get a hold of him. His uh, Skype is not working for some reason. I have no idea why. Um, anyway, while waiting for Alan to get back, because uh, he's, uh, he's he, I say, ah, I can't seem to get in touch with him. Um, but anyway, but yes, uh, we had um, this week on the show, Alan did an amazing job of these. We're going to run down his scores. 62 points he had on the uh, three days ago, and he's had a total now points of 79 points. Can he get 100 points tonight? Well, we're going to see if we can get in touch with Alan, because I cannot get in touch with him at all. Um, seems like I cannot, uh, it's just saying it's just uh, called, call, call failed. There's no what's going on. Um, I kind of, kind of a bit, 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 bit miffed about this for some reason. Um, uh, he's just going to refresh his uh, thing. Uh, yeah, because the easiest way to do it is if you ring me first, I can ring you on Skype. It's easy, much easier to ring on Skype for some reason. He did actually say, he's also said, it sounds a bit like the Wicker Man music, and it sounds a bit like the music of the Wicker Man. It does actually! That, 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 uh, that thing. So I, I, I don't know why, it just sounds really weird. For some strange reason. It sounds, it sounds like it's going to be one of those, those mad days, you know, those, days, of, days of old, days of yore. You know what I mean? Yeah, the sort of things as you have as... as Parties. Right, I have had a uh, poise. Not what the hell we're talking about. Uh, okay, we're, we're through, I think we've got him back now. Um, let's see if he's on. Is he here? We're calling him now. Uh, still not receiving. Oh, still can't get you, mate. That is weird. We can't. Well, I can't ring you, mate. I can't ring you on your, your Skype. It just says call dropped. It says no answer. So I have no idea. If we get, if we don't get um, this sorted out in the next couple of minutes, I will come back to it. Um, what we'll do, um, we'll keep trying to get in touch with him. We can't get in touch with him at the moment. He's actually, his, his phone's, his Skype, there's something wrong with his Skype. I can't, I, I mean, he says he's online. I'll, I'll ring him again and see if he's on there, but apparently it's just saying rejected call. Uh, it's just saying rejected reject call again. I have no idea. It's not, um, oh, it's answering now. It's saying there's a problem with this call. Nope, it's, it's not working. Nope. Nope. It seems your Skype, your Skype is not working. I think you, I can't hear you at all. Um, it says there's a problem with the call. We've got problems with Skype tonight, I'm afraid. I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't know if it needs updating or what, I'm not sure. But apparently, Skype is not working on Alan's side. It's just gone red and I can't get a thingy. So, we're going to have to uh, come out the top quiz a little bit later on. Um, we'll come out the pop quiz at about... Um, we'll check it about 9 o'clock. We'll do it at 9 o'clock. And we'll give it another chance as well. Uh, hi, Alan. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I finally got you this time. <laughs> what happened before? This did not work. I don't know what happened. Oh, that's a bit strange. Okay, well, listen, mate, it's your last time on the pop quiz now. Um, but, listen, we've got a surprise. Um, well, I'm going to tell you at the end, right? Okay, it's going to be very good next week because we've got something we've this week. But let's get on with the pop quiz because I'm. So, so, we've finally got a sort on now. It's good. Pop quiz. So the answer to the question was Ray Dorset was backing vocals for Ken Marie and it was a feels like I'm in love. It's right. It's right, it's correct. And Alan is here right now. Hello. <laughs> I can't hear you because you've all your your uh, microphones. Hey, I can hear you now, that's it. Fine. Right. So mate, you've done 62, 66, 68, 71, 72, 74, total of 79 points you've got in total. That is great, isn't it? That's great. But well, that's not it. We want to see if you can get the 100 tonight. So I don't know how long this is going to be on for, but we'll see. Let's see. Um, right. First of all, can you just bring your microphone a bit forward to your face because I can't hear you very well. That That's much better. That's it. I can hear you now. That's it. Just see if I can hear it for some reason. Right. So, 
We are going to do what we did last night, 60s, 70s, 80s, 3 from 1. We have 3 from 1 today as well, intros and lyrics and intros and lyrics and reverse tracks as well. Two new reverse tracks on this as well. But let's start what we always do with the 60 second pop quiz. So here we go. The ultimate pop quiz. No, that's the wrong one. Right. 60 second pop quiz questions. Your time starts now. All right, here we go. Today's questions. Um, where did C... Where did Crosby, Stills and Nash head off to? Marrakesh. Hang on, hang on. I've done it wrong again. I've done it wrong again. Shit, sorry, sorry. I'm going to give you that question. I'm going to give you that answer. Yeah, I'm going to give you that. But I'm, I'm going to start again because you know why. Because that's it. I've got questions. it here. Right. So two points for that one. That's right. Uh, it's one point. Shit, what am I doing? Um, okay. Which artist, uh, which artist released To Make You Feel My Love? No, I can't give you a clue. Who appeared on the Bad Attitude album as guest vocals? Uh, Roger Daltrey. Um, which Bad Company song was used in the Levi ad? Feel the Need Love. Jolene Turner appeared on Jane Bogart's album. What is the track called? Yeah. Jane Bull, uh, John Lynn Turner. Yeah, no, I don't know. What label was Pink Floyd's album released in the US? Which album? Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> Sorry. Oh! Out of shit! Out of time. What? Out of time. You got, well, you got two, so that wasn't bad. You've got a total of 81. So that is good. 81. Answers to the questions. Joel and Turner appeared on Jane Bogart's album. The track was called Give It Up. Label that Pink Floyd's album was released on was Capitol Records. Oh. And the other one, uh, To Make You Feel My Love, was from Bob Dylan. And uh, Roger Daltrey, it was right for that one, Bad Attitude. And uh, the other one was, was Marrakesh Express. Oh. So you got to correct. All right, so let's get on with the rest of them. Okay, where do you want to go? Now, we do have three from one back today, which is good. So we have that. My face is huge on this camera for some reason. So where do we want to start with? Reverse tracks. Oh, reverse tracks. Oh, that's a start, isn't it? Jesus. And I've just done this as well. Okay, reverse tracks. Wow, good start. Okay, here we go. Reverse tracks. What is this reverse track? <laughs> What is that track? Sounds like Muse. It's not Muse. Mm. Wrong. Can I hear that again? Yeah, can you hear it again? <laughs> Okay. Is it Bob Dylan? Nope. But no clues. It's Love Letters by Alison Moye. Oh, right. And I'll play it for you. It's uh, this, it was actually, actually this was this was forward. Yeah, so, don't get a point for that, I'm afraid. Still on 80... Where are we? 81. Take lyrics. You want to take lyrics. Alrighty. We'll go for... Wait a minute, let me keep my captions on first. No. Oh, but That's lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I've changed it this today, so you never know. It could... It could... <laughs> could, <laughs> it could it's quite difficult to do that one, actually. Lyrics. The lyrics one is today... Where's my list that? Where's my list gone? Lyrics wise, I'm gonna press. I'm gonna press page down. I don't care. Um, okay. Right. Which song do the lyrics come from? Each day I live from day to day. Uh, 
Can I get the next line? Nope. Right. Well, can I shift that? Can I switch that question? You can switch the question. I will. Switch it. I'll switch it to the lyric. Right. All right. Yes, yes, I could be wrong. <gasps> no, 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 this. Uh, it's China Crisis and Black Man Ray. Correct. It is that one, actually. Very good indeed. Uh, it was on Magic this afternoon, actually. <laughs> Yes, it was. All right, you got a total of 83. Right. That's really bloody good. Good stuff. Right, where do you want to go next? Three from one. You only go three from one. Yes, we didn't do this yesterday. Three from one. Okay, Cast. here we go. Ha, ha, ha. Three from one. The three first. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, mate. All right, we've made it kind of okay. Three top singles from Lulu. Shout. Two points. Two points. I'm a tiger. Two points. Very good. That means a total of six. That's 83, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 89. Good. Wow. Ooh, you, got, you got 11 points left. Right, so where do you want to go next? 80s. You want to go for the 80s? Right, here we go. Okay, Mutt 80s. Sorry? Mutt Langer. Mutt Langer. You were Mutt Langer. Good. <laughs> Marry the guy. <laughs> the 80s. Imagine that. 80s question today is Who were Imagination signed to? Oh. Imagination. Oh, I should know this. Uh, was it Cleo Records? No. It wasn't. The answer was Red Bus. Didn't know that. That was pretty hard. You can go, right, okay, so uh, where do you want to go now? I'll take the 70s. You want to go for the 70s. Here we go. The 70s. Canadian Records. Hot chocolates were from which country? You mean, well, several, several members of the UK and, uh, I can't remember his name, but Tony Connor was from Jamaica. Oh shit, sorry, that's actually right. Jamaica is right. Uh, 91 you have. Wow, you're doing well. I'll go for another reverse track. Do you want to go for another reverse track? Here we go. Do you do this, bloody... Oh, come on. Here we go. How's it Reverse track. What's this reverse track? Oh, bloody hell. Sorry, I didn't really hear it. Yeah, I me Right, okay, that's it. Oh, oh I feel I know that. I'll play it again if you want. Alright. Is it Andrew Gold, Lonely Boy? <laughs> oh, shit! Is it? It is actually. It's not I lonely. It's it, yes. Why can't this be love? Be I can't really take that. Sorry, that I, I'll sorry. tell you what. I'll go and give you a point for the artist right. though. So ninety-two, time. ninety-two you get. But yes, it was. Um, oh, where's the where's the thing gone? Oh, it's here. Um, but yeah, it was this one. How can this be love if it makes us cry? It was that. How can this be love? But that was not bad. I gave you one point for that anyway. So you didn't even too bad. Okay, 92 points you have. You still have got three categories left. Three from one. <laughs> Again? Aye. Wow, you're doing well, mate. Definitely. You're doing well. You're doing well. Three from one. The three from one is... Definitely. Oh. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Three top singles from the Dooleys. Uh, the Chosen Few. Yes. Wanted. Obviously the best single ever fucking made. And a road has to die. 
Yes. Tess, you also know that the two other singles, I know what it was called, Body Language and Love of My Life, and I'm not having you on. Uh, uh, what? Love of My Life? And Body Language. All right. 98. Ninety-eight. You've got now to make two points to get a hundred. Let's go for two hundred. No, I'm not doing two hundred. hundred, hundred is enough. Okay, you've got now your. You've got one more category to choose. I've done a sixty yet. I know you haven't done the sixty because you haven't choose it yet. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> okay, so let's do the sixties. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. We need to drink too much beer. Uh, 60s, and you haven't got a serious question yet either. Okay, 60s question. No, hang on. What's that? Is this the 60s one? The 80s. Oh, sod it. No, it's not the 80s. It's the bloody 60s. The 60s. 60s question is <laughs> What was Silla Black's song produced by George Martin? What's it all about, Alfie? No. No, but I think I know it. It's a step inside love. Nah. Wasn't that one? That's from a cartoon. Uh, anyone who had a heart? Nah. Is it? We'll give you two more chances to get this one right. Surround yourself with sorrow. No. Nope. Is it, um. Uh, Pour some sugar on me. <laughs> no, I don't know what test is. The answer is um, something's going to happen tonight. Oh, yeah. That's what it was. I'm That's the only one she made. 98, you still have 98 points. Right, okay. Right, you haven't had the 70s yet. Right, I almost know, right? 70s in. You want the 70s? Right. It's up to you. The 70s. Who had a hit with Iron Horse? Oh, Iron Horse. Oh. Is it bronze records as well? <coughs> I've, come uh, that. I've come across that in a book. I don't know, Tess, to be honest with you. All right. Well, I'll, not, well, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll save that for another, another time. Okay. Right. Um, okay. So you've had 60s, 70s, 80s lyrics, three from one, and reverse tracks. You can now get uh, your extra... You can make an extra two points now if you want to go for... Your, uh, your. If you want to go for the same category again, to Push. get the hundred. Uh, this, and this, and this, you can win that CD, that Queen CD, by the way. Can I have a reverse track? I, I don't have one ready. All right. Um. Oh, I tell you what, give me a second. I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll play the uh, play for a minute. I'll, I'll get something sorted out. Wait one second. Um. Do 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 do. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'll wait till right, okay. The okay, right, I've got one here. Right, so we're going to go for reverse track again. All right. Uh, tracks. What's that track? Once more, please. Yep, sure. Play it again. Oh no, it's okay. All right. Uh, uh, can I get a clue? Oh, she was big. Dolly Parton? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. 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 <laughs> it's a funny Dolly Parton watching this. Dolly Parton. She was yeah. big. She was big. I don't want to give you. A, I don't want to give you a big clue because it'll just wait. It'll just ruin it. Look, could you give me the year it was released in? What's the feeling? Nineteen eight, 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 nineteen eighty-six. Is it Madonna? Nah. The 
86. And it's a female. It's a female artist. Whitney Houston. You. Yep. Yep, uh, Houston. Kate Bush. Nope. God, I can't think. 86. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, and who else was picking 86? 86. You sure it was 86? 86. Not many big female fingers, 19 Britain or anything. Well, I'm saying Britain, I'm just not Britain. Uh, it's American. Right, okay. Eh. Uh, Maybe one more try. Diana Ross. No. Nah. I don't know, Tess. It's that one. That's the second time today Alison's let me down. Haha, <laughs> you see? Alison Moya again, and it's just this love. Good I told you she was big. Big. 98 right. points you still have. Oh, now, right. as in size or in popularity? As in size and popularity and... You know, <laughs> 98 points you have anyway. Uh, right, two points you have to now. You now, what I'm going to do is because you can't, you haven't got two points yet, because 100 points is a definite one, you still got 98 points. Um, we can go for one of my categories if you want me to choose one. Bye. All right, and um, before I do that, actually, I'm going to uh, just, just have a little look at the things and stuff. All right, here we go. Right, okay, if you get this one right, you get that CD, all right, and so this is going to be something from the 70s. 70s question is, who originally sang without you? I'm sorry, but I know this one. <laughs> no, wait a minute, seriously, are you saying sang it or, or recorded it? Oh, sorry, I wrote it, I mean... Who originally sang it? Right, bad finger. You are a winner. You've done it. Uh, I don't know where the bloody music's gone anyway, but it's there. Alan has won. He's got 100 points and he's won that CD. Well done, mate. You've done really well. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, right. I'll tell you what. From, from honestly, mate, that is a very good achievement for what you've done. 100 points is really good. We ain't finished yet. We ain't finished yet, though. Now, 100 points is just enough to get the CD. I'm going to ask you one more question. Now, I'm going to clear the board again. We are not going to do any of this one now. This is going to be the ultimate question, and I want to know this, right? If you don't, if you get, if you get it wrong, you still get the CD. If you get it right, you're going to get a bonus prize. See if I can hear me song. That's a, that can be bonus points. No. Sh Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> right, so 100 points is what he's got. He's got a maximum 100 points. He's been doing it for four, five nights now and he's done really well. But let's now give you one question. It's going to be from. I'm going to play this music actually because this is really. This is, this is tense. This is tense. Here's the question Where is it? This is the ultimate question to get a bonus prize right. I'm going to give you. Yep. Who started Jive Records? Oh, you told me this before. Oh, I can't. You told me this before. Ages ago. Oh, I don't know. It could be anybody. It could be... I'll give you. I'll give you fifty seconds to think. I really, I really don't know, Tess. I know you've told me before, but no. All right. Well, you don't get the bonus prize, but you get the CD okay. anyway. The answer was Clive Calder. Ah, uh, you told me. I've Clive told Calder me. was the answer for it. But I tell you what. But I tell you what, Alan. That you've been a, you've been a brilliant contestant on this pop quiz, and I tell you what, you've done really, Thanks really much. well. Um, how do you feel that you've won? If you got 100 points, that's, so, that's incredible. Uh, I'll be putting that on there. I'll be putting that on um, Facebook tonight, and I'll say that Alan got the 100 points and he won. Well done. 
I feel great. I feel great uh, that you won it. So you will get that CD. That CD will be sent in the post tomorrow, and uh, with some that's nice it. I'll be sending that to you tomorrow. Um, just a little, a little note, by the way. I checked the uh, booklet inside that Queen one. It does have information in there. I, forgot, I, I was thinking of the bloody original one. I was thinking of that's what I was thinking of. So just to let uh, uh, you clear the board, uh, um, Emma, twenty points is still on the line, so she can come back anytime she wants. I'm going in. And, Sorry. and what I like to do next week is bring you back on Monday. Here's the, now, this, is what, <laughs> this is what I haven't told you yet. This is what I haven't told you yet. Listen carefully. Next week on the show, we're going to have teams next week on Pop Quiz. We're going to have a team of two and a team of two as well. That's good. And what we're going to do is we're going to let you... We're going to let you um, play against someone else. So we'll have one on one next week. So, you know, like oh, celebrity death one on one. So what? Celebrity death. Celebrity death match. <laughs> but that team one will be brilliant because we can have uh, another one on that time, another <coughs> one that time, and that time it's going to work out great. So that next week is going to be really unbelievable, and I think it's going to be exciting as well. And there's another prize for that as well. Actually, next uh, next uh, next week's show. If we ever if we ever get to um, a, a tie, we will stretch the tie a little bit better. But it's good. But that's happening next week. That's, that's going to be teams next week. So tune in for that next week. So okay. tune in for that. Did you see Rice Thomas a few years back then? The celebrity mastermind and queen questions. I did. I did. Um, I saw that. Is that that mastermind one he did? Aye. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that quite a while back. Um, it's it's a but it's very interesting. That. Aye. Very interesting indeed. I, I would have done well in that. I only got one question wrong. I'll give you. I'll, I'll ask you something now. Actually, all the time you've been watching Rock Show live. Uh-huh. What was your what was your what's your favourite what's your favourite song I've played on the show? Oh, what a hard question. Is <laughs> you a huge fan of the show anyway? Uh, still love Armageddon. Armageddon is one of the most brilliant Bob tracks by by Thingy. Rock. It was like a rock or Thomas Baker. But here's a question I want to ask you. I don't know why I ask at all. Which Roy Thomas Baker which Roy Thomas Baker production should have we done? Should be done. Should be done. Should, should have been be done. done. Should have been done. Sorry, originally. Uh, oh, if there was one song, if there was one song you had, you if there was one song you you put you picked that would could have been that could have worked out. What which one do you think it would be? Possibly. Forget. Uh, no, sorry. Music by John Mills. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have to agree because the production of that is fucking awesome. <laughs> It's at live strings, but I mean, but listening to the Nazareth album that I played, the track from Nazareth, it was pretty good that one actually. But ELO and Queen and you know, right. sentimental sort of reasons thing. Anyway, hundred points. I think, sorry, I think it's good on on layered vocals. Yeah, yeah, I, I I agree because the fact is he's got a lot more time to, he's got a lot more time to actually um, think about multi-tracking vocals and things. But I think the sound of drums is more of his. Well, definitely the master of the multi-track. He's brilliant. I mean, now he's worked with Smashing Pumpkins and worked with Guns N' Roses, and now he's working with uh, some other guy. And uh, but but I never knew about that question about the Roy Thomas Baker one. He worked with Dusty Springfield. That That was such a weird thing, and I haven't even heard the album yet. I tell you what, he should have done. He should have done uh, Romeo, Mr. Big. Oh, you know what? That Valkyrie production—it's just Uh, fucking awesome. It's it's just pure Queen. Uh, Actually, actually. The, the, do you know on the label? Do you know yeah. any of my label? Aye. You know what's that? It's Robert Hirschman who actually who backed it up. Was it? It was, yeah. It says Robert Hirschman that's actually signed as well on the, on the yeah, label. Yeah, actually supported Queen in the UK. Yes, they did. And uh, they, they did a, they did want that Queen sound and stuff. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I think RTB wanted to do that track, but obviously Val Garay was the last person to come in and do it. But, uh, but a classic, classic guy. But I still think that if any if any other if anybody else had 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 stepped in at EMI and said, look, get that guy, get Royce Respect to do that before he went to Germany, did all that stuff with things and stuff. Okay, so let me ask you one more question. Yeah, sure. How, how do you think Tony Scott would handle the Queen? Tony who? Tony Visconti. Oh, Tony Visconti. Um, I, I I would say that it would have worked out fine because that they were Bowie sort of uh, sounding Mark Bond Mark Bond type music. It would have worked out good. I wish not. Uh, no, sorry. I wish uh, RTB had done the Kimono My House album. I know. What? I know. I know. 
I, 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 you know, the com many conversations that we, we've had over the past few weeks on Box Show Live, we, we, we could just talk all night about Hello? this because it would be very interesting, but it would be boring for YouTube. But I'll, I'll just say, I'll just say one thing because I will talk to you. T are you going to be on Skype tonight, by the way? Uh, I okay. What time is that? Quarter past nine. Well, it's quarter past nine, so I've got another about forty-five minutes to show to go before we before we finish. But be on Skype tonight, and I'll tell a chat with you after the show. Right. Because it'll be interesting that. I think my deep purple albums are coming tomorrow. Oh, which ones? Are the original versions you've ordered. The, I think I think the first one I ordered. Did you get that? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, Alan. I'll leave the conversation for now, and I'll speak to you right. after. Right, the, okay. I'll speak to you after the show, right? And because I want to talk to you after the show as well. Is there something I want to? I'll see. I want to. I want to. Test you on, right? Anyway, mate, it's been a pleasure, mate. Thanks for taking part on Pop Quiz, and it's been great. And you won, you won the CD. I'll talk to you after the show. All right, stay on Skype, okay, mate? See you in a bit. Bye. There you go, guys. Alan Joyce, he won 100 points. Yes, he did. Over five nights, he, five nights he won 100 points. So if you want to be in the, in the hot seat for next week's Pop Quiz, next week's Pop Quiz, we're going to do it as uh, teams next week. So if you want to be a team next week on Pop Quiz. This is how you're going to get in touch with me. First of all, you have to email me. Email, email, I wish you could email. Uh, you can email me at supertez at live.co.uk to be a part of a team. Basically, you have to basically, if, you want, if you're a team of four, two or two, we're going to do it really good as well. This is going to be cool. Um, and if you also want to be part of uh, Pop Quiz next week on the show, uh, Teams Week is going to start next week. So if you want to be part of Pop Quiz, give me a call on 07521 300 883 next week. Don't, you can call me during the week as well, but call me next week if you want to be part of Pop Quiz next week. Because we've got a couple, I'm going to get do a couple of new rounds as well. And if you answer to the quiz, we'll be given on points the system and also a chance to win a prize of Pop Quiz. Pop Quiz returns back on Monday at, at uh, 6 o'clock, live here on your stream. Well done, Alan, and I hope you enjoy the CD.